Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to troubleshoot an all-electric unit. The components of an all-electric unit are a transformer, your heat strips, this one has two sets, they're, they're each 5kW a piece, your heat sequencers, or these could also be contactors or any type of relay, and your blower motor. Now, the way an all-electric unit works is as follows. The incoming line voltage is connected at these locations. The electricity flows through the transformer. The transformer converts 240 volts to 24 volts AC. This is the transformer. The 24 volts supplies the thermostat with voltage. When the thermostat has a call for heating, it sends the voltage to the W terminal or the W2 or W3 depending on the particular model of thermostat you have. The low voltage is connected to the coil of the heat sequencer or relay. The coil in this application is located on the bottom terminals located here. When this coil is supplied with low voltage, it causes the contacts to close. This allows electricity to flow through it. It also supplies the fan motor. The electricity travels through the limit switch here. Then it travels through the heating element and completes the circuit by returning to the incoming line voltage of the terminal block. If you would like more information on any particular device, log on to www.supercoolslidereel.com and look up the tutorial with the title of the device you want more information on. For instance, if you want to know more about heat sequencers, watch the tutorial titled Heat Sequencers Dash What It Is and How It Works. This concludes our tutorial, but stay tuned while I introduce the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheat or subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas. It has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for duct work, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The Supercool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.